Hi ho neighbors, Rado Goji here, and against my better judgment, welcome back to Let's Play Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. Ooh, encounter already. When we last left off, we cleared the first palace, which means that we are well on our way to completing this game, and then we don't have to worry about it anymore. At least I don't have to. You can go ahead and worry about it if you want, but I'm not going to. Eventually, I'm going to be able to do something here. There we go. Oh. Alright, so... There isn't too much that we can do before we start heading to the next palace, but as you can see, we can... actually see under... Uh, not, I don't want to say underground, but rather in caves. So we could see that one beetle, who did not cause us any problems whatsoever the last time we encountered it. We also encounter no monsters there. Anywho, uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to a town this way. It's right over here. This town is of Ruto. Eh. Crappy commentary. Yes, please. Yeah, I'm. I'm not. I am definitely not all there. The, uh, all there today. I'm a bit tired, but I will sally forth and um, play the game. Um, this old lady here, the orange one, she'll restore our magic, which is nice. But we're basically here to get our next objective in the game. Um, one thing I didn't really mention about this game was that... The glory of Tantari stole our trophy. So the English is basically saying that there's some Gorias about who have stolen the trophy from this town, and we have to go back to get it. And Tantari, according to the instruction booklet, is the desert that is north of the Northern Palace where we started. Basically up here. Anyway, one thing I did forget that I did forget to mention um, is that uh, in this game, unlike the uh, first game, we actually kind of, sort of, ish have some explanation on where we where the game wants us to go next. We actually have towns and people who are willing to point us in the right direction, and that was instant death, and that is game over. Let's continue. Alright, and if we're not in a palace, we start over again at the starting point of the game. This will be extremely annoying. I don't remember if I if I finished the thought if my if I finished my thoughts on this um, when we were in the last palace. I don't think I ever did. But basically, if you lose all if you lose all of your lives, um you will start all. You will start over at at the uh, starting point of the game, and you'll also, as you can see, lose all of the experience that you had gained since you last leveled up. Now, the main problem with this is once we get to, um, well, actually, no. If you die, if you get game over, period, you start over at the start of the game. No matter where you are, if you're in the final palace, you'll start over at the, at the beginning of the final palace. But this is going to, this is going to be a, a big problem when we get to the you know what <laughs> safe state I don't know why I didn't think to do that earlier anyway um you can see if you're if once we get to the point where we're at the second to last palace which is Admittedly, I'm, I'm just going to say it, pretty much the farthest away you can be from the starting point. Period. Um, that's going to be a problem for us, because if we keep dying there, which is which is part of the reason why I'm using these safe states, because if we get game over there, then we have to, we have to go back to... The, the, we have to we have to like you know walk all the way back to that to, to that second to last palace 
from the beginning of the, uh, the from the beginning of the game. And I mean, we don't have to do we don't have to you know retrade all of our progress. We keep our progress. But you know, that's pretty much as far away from the starting point as you can possibly be. And there is the afore aforementioned uh, Goria here. So as you can see, I'm trying to lose lives as little as possible, but I'm not safe stating quite a simple. Um, I'm not safe stating as much as I had planned because I keep forgetting about it. Really, actually, let me save it there. Okay. Oh, safe states, I don't think I would ever keep my sanity without you with this game. Also, playing for only 15 minutes at a time helps. Oh well, we get the trophy anyway. You know, one thing I also forgot to use? Shield spell. Oh, go on then, let's kill it. If we, if we die, we can just, you know, reload the state. There. They, that, that was a good, you know, decent amount of experience that I really didn't want to pass up. And we're not going to deal with you. Now let's head back to Rudo Town and give them that trophy. We worked our asses off for it. They better be grateful. It's pretty much these these little side quests that like like that is how we is how we get all of our magic spells. Each town has a magic spell to give us, but the only one we get for free is that shield spell we got in Roru Town. And I keep forgetting that you can actually skip that with B, because you actually use B to talk to people. But you can also use B to skip their dialogue there. And she's now that we have the trophy, it's like, you saved the trophy. Come see my uncle. Oh wait, no, because there isn't a period after trophy, it's, you saved the trophy, come see my uncle. I guess they couldn't fit that extra period, I don't know. And of course, it's, her uncle is the village elder down here. Says, with this, you can jump very high. And we get the jump spell. The jump spell will... The, there will be certain points where we will actually have to use that spell in order to um, leap over like certain walls and whatnot. Now, there is one more thing that we can do before we move on. And that might actually take till the end of the video to do because um, it involves going through another cave. And it says, it's basically, it's get a magic container. And um, we haven't gotten any magic containers yet in this game. They're basically like the heart container, only they add a segment onto our magic meter. It says... Let's go to where the North Castle is. Then, can you sell through the forest area at the west of the castle? Oh, probably in here. Okay. Ah, you can't fool me, game. And at some point, I'm probably going to be grinding off-screen for stuff. Okay, that didn't take nearly as long as I had thought. Uh, now I'm actually going to go ahead and scroll down with the FAQ I'm using. I'll be just a second. Okay. 
I guess we could pick that up. There's no harm in doing so. But there will be some point where I'm just going to grind off screen. Uh, basically, once we re there, there are two, there are basically two continents that we'll be exploring. Once we get to the second continent, that's pretty much the point where last I played the game, I had um, ground up to level eight and everything. So now we get to go this way, and this is where the game really starts to hurt, at least with me. <laughs> and that's when we get to this swampy area. Ah. No! In fact, since we have this magic vial here, I'll go ahead and use the shield spell. No. Let's say, say here. And use this. I forgot that he could go a little further. Just, just past the uh, edge of the platform there. And hit me that way. Oh, another one of you. And yeah, I know I could probably be doing this... This would probably be a lot easier on me if I just went ahead and tried blocking his boomerangs and stuff like that, but I am not good at doing that kind of stuff in this game. And that's probably one of the main reasons I suck at it, is because the, these attack patterns are so unpredictable. Yay, more caves. Something I certainly wasn't looking forward to. Well, and these red aches, or bats... They're called aches in this game, which I, I mentioned. I did mention that before, and it's kind of stupid, but they'll turn into, like, demon things when they hit the ground and shoot fire at you. Now, here is a place where we need the jump spell to pass. As you can see, the jump spell is considerably more than the shield spell. And we're done with that. And now I got these flea things jumping around in the, uh, random encounters. Alright. There we go. I guess I really didn't need that. Um... Two seconds. Okay, I'm back. All right. Actually, I am almost done here. Oh, and there's and some more encounters I've decided to show up at once. And we fight more some more Octoroks here. This is actually the one enemy I know of that kept its name was Octorok. Also, in the swamps, we move a little slower. Alright, well, I've pretty much had about all of the game that I can take for one day. So, uh, next time, we'll continue exploring this area and maybe get around to getting to the second palace. And won't that be fun? Spoilers, no it won't. I've been Rado Goji, and I'll be here next time. Join me, won't you?